Today I've prepared a really exciting tutorial for you. We're going to be talking about indicators. So let's jump straight into it. So as you can remember, uh, we talked about that the price has four main elements, the high, the low, the open, and the close. So indicators are basically aggregators of these values. So you have a stream of values of high, open, low, close coming into your terminal all the time. And uh, what indicators do is they process these values to um, kind of give you a different perspective on the market. So let's have a look at a particular example. Here we've got the, uh, a price chart and say for instance we take the most, the bar that's most to the right and we take its high. And then we take its low and we subtract the high from the low. Well that difference is called the true range. It just basically indicates what the volatility or the amplitude of the market movement was for today. So that's good. So that's uh, one of the things that you can derive from price. And that's, uh, that's an example of an indicator because that value, the true range, is not actually given to you by default, but you can derive it from these two values. Next, um, let's take the true range for the next bar. And then let's take the true range for the bar after that. And then we'll take one more true range. So what we're going to do with all of these four true ranges is we'll take the average of these four true ranges. And that will give us the average true range in the past four bars. So that tells you not only how volatile the market was in the, pro in the current day, but also how volatile the market was over the past four days on average. Because if you take one day, you can have an anomaly or some, some news might have come out. But when you average it out, it tends to smooth out the effect. And therefore, you see a representative picture of the market. So what we can do now is we can plot this average true range on our chart. So let's make some space. We'll move up this uh, chart uh, a bit. And at the bottom, we'll have a new chart. So let's plot this calculated average true range under the last bar. So this little uh, blue cross at the bottom represents the average true range for the previous four bars. Next, we'll continue like that and we'll take the average true range for the four bars before the current one. So excluding the current one, what's the average true range before that? We'll plot it as well. Let's do that again. Well, once more, we've got four bars. We've got the average true range plot, plotted under the last of the four bars. We can do that again and again and so on. We just keep going as far left as we want to, and we get all these little crosses at the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the crosses with a line. And that's what it looks like. So now what we've actually constructed is the average true range indicator with a period of four. You can actually take this, uh, find this indicator in MetaTrader 4 and uh, drag it onto your chart and you'll see exactly this picture. And uh, sometimes traders, they're um, a bit scared of all these complicated indicators and uh, they, they know, they kind of learn the names, they learn uh, what they uh, represent for the market, but they don't know the calculation. Well, this example shows that the calculations behind these indicators are very often very simple. In most cases, they're very simple. You just take the, uh, some of the values from the open, low, high, and close. You do something with them. You take an average and you plot it on the chart. So it's a very good idea to actually understand what's behind uh, the indicators that you're using in uh, your trading and not not only what they mean but also how they're calculated um, and so right now we know that this average range indicator tells us how volatile the market has been over the past four days and to finish off today's tutorial let's have a look quick look at um, the average true range uh, on a real chart in MetaTrader 4 so here's a chart which uh, a snapshot from MetaTrader 4 and at the bottom you've got the average true range with a period of 14 that means that every single element in the average true range represents the smoothed out true range of the past 14 bars. And that's how it's been changing, and that tells you of the market volatility. So right now you can see uh, on the right, the true range is somewhere about average, meaning the market is uh, not in its most volatile time. And you can use that in your trading. So maybe your trading strategy tells you that you are trying to avoid volatile times because they're more uh, they bring more uncertainty and you want to trade during less volatile times. Or maybe you want to trade during more volatile times and take uh, 
big movements and big impulses. So there's lots of indicators on the Forex market. They're all constructed differently. Have a look around. You'll definitely find some that you like, some that you don't like. In our trading, the one we will focus on is the moving average, and we'll talk about that in the next tutorial. I look forward to seeing you then, and until next time, happy trading.